Hey Starshine, how are you? I'm TK and today I will play more of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, on the last episode I kind of ended on an awkward note because I wasn't... I, I have such a hard time finding good places to pause in these types of games, I swear. I was trying to get to the poems, but then stuff happened and Yuri was adorable and now we're finally getting to the poems, so let's just dive right into it. <laughs> Yuri releases her, ha her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? Uh, that's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Thank you for not dog earring. I cannot stand people who do that. <laughs> By the way, do you remember- did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monika enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Oh, I expected, like, really cute stationery. <gasps> no, Natsuki's gonna be on cute stationery. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Whom should I show my poem to first? Yuri, of course, we wrote it for her. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten up. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Huh? D -d Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Oh, I... I going to hate me. I can read your mind! Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? Th that's... I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. In real life, I've written some poetry. A little bit. Not that good. I'm more into prose and stuff like that. <laughs> huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I, I just meant... Uh, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Also, you should be reading this aloud. Always read poems aloud. You really should. Just, just life tip for any of y'all out there. If you're reading poetry, read it out loud. It makes the experience so much better. You really get a feel for it then. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up, uh, pick them up. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is new writers, in new writers, is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from a topic, ma the topic manner, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. 
Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased, though. Oh, this is... Oh, my throat is so dry. I should not be doing something where I have to do lots of reading. Mm. Coffee, save me. Surprise, surprise, I'm drinking coffee at the moment. <gasps> I forgot to silence my phone! I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> Biased? How? Uh, um, well... Never mind. I, I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Light. Oh my gosh, it's this handwriting. It's cute, but I'm very bad at reading cursive. The trindles of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. I should have paused more than that. <laughs> the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Oh, click outside the phone. Too. Okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. No, your ter your handwriting is not terrible. It's very pretty. I'm just bad at reading cursive. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. I'm just, I'm really slow and bad at reading. Well, I don't read script very often. <gasps> wow, I'm still actually my character, though. <laughs> I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm... Really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts? Are you? Oh, sorry, it's me. Are you into ghosts, Judy? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, TK. Really? I. Okay, I'm not my character now. I I picked that up. I must have totally missed the point. I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And so to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I mean, you already know that she likes that. She likes the solemn stuff. She likes the kind of depressing and thoughtful stuff. I mean, you, you were simplifying it more than you should have with her. <laughs> I didn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, TK. Ah, uh, me, me too. Oh, you're too cute. Okay, I'm. I want to read Natsuki's. I hope it's on cute stationery. <laughs> huh? TK, if you're going to take this club, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. 
What, you expect me to believe you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I, I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I, I, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Uh, painful to think about? Uh, fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Uh, fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. A anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, I'll, you'll probably think it's stupid. Ah, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not cute stationery. Oh well. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Y yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? J just, just be honest. I, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Oh wait, sorry, that's me, that's me, sorry. Isn't the point of poems to express themselves? I was thinking way too into Natsuki's voice. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, e exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like, in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decide to write about it. Yeah, I, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more great weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Yeah, I, I actually, I really liked that. <laughs> it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. <laughs> that's, that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that the youngest one he from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. All right, let's do Sayuri. Um, mm. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> this is a good poem, TK. Are you sure it's your first time? Uh, of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Or, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, TK. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Uh, thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motives here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm... Blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to it then. <laughs> Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. I gotta take a sip. This one's longer than the others. Ah, okay. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish that you away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. 
If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> that was cute. Saturday. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until morning to write this? N no! D just a little bit. You, can ans you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. R really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I can get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Whom should I show my poem to next? Only person left, Monica. Hi, TK. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, TK. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. A hand won't come my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, TK. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's exceptions low. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's me. It's easier to keep everyone's expectations low. Gosh darn it. Uh, that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yep, I wrote it for her. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayuri, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Oh, don't worry so much about it. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to, kind, uh, to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always find what I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Except for that's the whole name of this game because it's a dating sim. <laughs> uh, <ha, ha>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound very, pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh my gosh, this one has a scroll bar. Ah! Let me sip. Hole in wall. It couldn't, it couldn't have been me. See the direction that spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see. 
I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. That's what I say about, that's why I just said about all poems, you have to read them aloud. What, uh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say that I had kind, some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark, uh, a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hands and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, it's no way my uh, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Saturday and Monica are happily chatting. Ooh. <clears throat> ah, that was a weird hiccup. My my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. <gasps> Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. I can read your minds again, or maybe this is supposed to be whispering. What's with this language? Uh huh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I wasn't... I was trying to say something nice. Yeah? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it, and TK did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Ugh! And TK liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? eh? Th that's not what I... Oh. You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that TK appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. 
Huh? And how do you know he appreciated my advice more? Are, are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make sure everything I do... <laughs> I would deliberately go out of my way to make sure everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as TK started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I, I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls torn, turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. TK, she, she just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she, if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's, what's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, TK. Wait, there's there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, TK? Uh, well, <laughs> how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Help me, Sayuri! <laughs> so of course that's gonna be... I gotta go, I gotta go all in with Yuri. I'm sorry. Um, in, in complete and full honesty, I think that there is a... A writing... A, a valid writing style in both of their... Both of their poems and both their positions. I think that both have their own good purposes to them. I would say personally, I think I enjoy Yuri's style more, just because I do like spending time thinking about things and contemplating them and spending more time just like going nuts with the idea. But Natsuki definitely has a place too when it's, you know, maybe some days I don't want to think too much. Maybe some days I just want the meaning to be right in my face and be like, oh, I get it. That's cool. I like that you did that. I, though, would have to say, I gotta go with Yuri, though. I'm on, I'm going for her route. Sorry. Um, I guess, let's pop a save real quick. Okay, Yuri. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Th that's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poems seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri? Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Oh, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I like this. I like that he's defending both sides. I... I see. I didn't notice that I... I I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should too? Ugh. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point be being defiant only, bleh, only because she can't handle the pressure. I ended up feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk to clear my head. Sayuri, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches up her own poem from her desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash! 
No, Natsuki! Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. N no, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, TK, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. It's, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said. About, you know. I would never do anything so shameful. So... Huh? What thing did Natsuki say? Uh, about about her boobs growing in size? No, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Uh, um, well, never mind that. Uh, I'm gonna go make some tea. That's a good idea. Can I have some coffee, actually? I like me some coffee. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was lots of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. TK, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Ah, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job at impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. TK! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Saori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Saori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, TK, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun! <sighs> Looks like Saturday still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Does it really need to stop there? Well, I, um, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. Pat, pat. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Ye. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the episode here, and we're gonna start the next episode by making a poem for our girl, Yuri! Yay! <laughs> also, okay, I'll talk about this extra at the beginning of the next episode. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna continue going. But, I'm, uh, but for, um, until next time... <laughs> uh, until next time, <laughs> remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!